Hi, everyone, and welcome to our first of two lessons talking about target markets. So let's kind of get right into it. We're going to go here, share the screen, and there we go. So target, target markets. So uh, target markets. So the goal, the objective of this lesson is to identify various types of markets, segmentation and market share, and to gain a comprehensive understanding of why businesses select target markets to develop effective strategies for reaching their desired audience. So when it comes to target markets, understanding your target market is critical for developing an effective selling strategy. Um, you Understanding your target market includes knowing your target audience, your customer preferences, your competitive landscape, the most effective channels to reach your target audience, your marketing budget, your brand identity, and your customer relationships, and so on. So we're going to talk a little bit about types of markets and segmentation. So when starting a business, it is crucial to carefully analyze the different types of markets in which your business could potentially operate. Now, a market can be defined as an environment where individuals engage in financial interactions, such as trading commodities, services, or assets. Basically, a market is anywhere where individuals trade one thing of value for something else of value. Now, as we talk about target types of markets and segmentation, um, understanding the characteristics and the dynamics of various markets can significantly impact things like your business strategy, your target audience, your competitive landscape, and your overall success, which in most cases is often defined as increased sales and higher profits. And a business can better understand the characteristics of market through market segmentation. This is an approach involving the division of a market into categories of consumers who exhibit comparable traits and requirements. Well, let's talk about the various market types first off. One is a business-to-business -business market, or B2B. This is selling products or services to other businesses, such as raw materials, components and equipment, software, professional services. This uh, B2B markets often involve longer sales cycles, complex negotiations, and building strong relationships within the target businesses. Next is a niche market. Now, there's a couple different pronunciations of this. You might hear niche. You might hear niche. Either one works. Um, but this is a special, these are specialized segments within larger markets catering to specific customer needs or interests, such as organic foods, sustainable products, luxury goods, health supplements, um, or personalized services. Um, with a niche market, businesses can often differentiate themselves from co competitors and build a loyal customer base. Then there's emerging markets. These are economies that are experiencing rapid growth and development. Um, emerging markets present unique opportunities due to increasing consumer purchasing power and expanding middle class and evolving market trends. They can be challenging due to things like political instability, infrastructure limitations, and varying levels of market maturity. Next in our list of market types is a global market. This is the system that allows commercial, financial, and labor exchange between different countries without any type of restriction. Some of the elements of a global market include exports of goods and services between countries, the flow of capital through credit and financing, transfer of human capital to another country. Now, today, the economy moves in an interconnected way, so what happens in one country can often affect another, so no one is isolated from an economic point of view. Now, on the flip side, there's local markets. These consist of the cons of customers who will buy the products and services in the vicinity of where they are produced. Now, to devise a proper marketing strategy for local markets, it's necessary to know how much a customer will buy, where he will buy, how and how far he will travel to buy a product or a service. A local market is the most important market for fresh products as well as perishable products, for example, like a farmer's market. Next in our discussion of market types are business to consumer market, B2C, or simply a consumer market. Now a consumer market is one where retailers sell goods and services to customers for personal use or consumption. The consumer market is stocked with products and goods people use in their everyday lives, such as food, toiletries, shoes, clothing, 
grooming accessories, and personal digital devices such as smartphones and laptops. The consumer market is open to everyone regardless of their purchasing power. And finally, there's an online market. And an online marketplace is an e-commerce site that connects sellers with buyers. It's often known as an electronic marketplace, and all transactions are managed by the website owner. Some examples of online marketplaces include Amazon, eBay, Etsy, and even Craigslist. Companies use online marketplaces to reach customers who want to purchase their products and services. All right, let's switch gears just a little bit and let's talk about market segmentation. Now, a business can better understand the characteristics of a market through market segmentation. Market segmentation is a marketing ter term that refers to aggregate prospective buyers. That refers to aggregating prospective buyers into groups or segments with common needs and who respond similarly to a marketing action. Market segmentation enables companies to target different categories of consumers who perceive the full value of certain products and services differently from one another. There are four basic types of market segmentation. They are geographic, demographic, psychographic, and behavioral. So let's take a look at each one of these individually, starting with geographic. This is where you divide the market based on geographic variables such as location, climate, population density, and cultural differences. It recognizes that consumer needs and preferences can vary based on their geographic location. For example, a clothing brand might consider different styles and materials for customers in different climates. Next is demographic. This is where you divide the market into demographic categories, including age, income, gender, family size, occupation, and level of education. Businesses often focus their products and services uh, on specific age groups or income brackets to cater to their target audience. Next is psychographic. This is dividing the market based on consumer qualities such as lifestyles, personalities, interests, attitudes, and values. For example, targeting adventure enthusiasts or environmentally conscious individuals. Companies focus their efforts on appealing to specific consumer groups with similar qualities. And finally, behavioral. This is where you categorize consumers based on their behavior, their usage patterns, and their buying habits. It focuses on understanding con consumers' responses to products, their loyalty, and their purchasing frequency. For instance, airlines offer frequent flyer programs to reward loyal customers. All right, so that is our first of two lessons regarding target markets. We've talked about uh, what the different types of markets, and we talked about uh, different types of market segmentation.